Hi, I'm Uncle Chef, and I'm in North Dakota's canola fields. Also known as fields of prairie sunshine. <laughs> we are here speaking to North Dakota Agriculture Commissioner Doug Goring. How are you? It's so nice to have you guys here in North Dakota. What a wonderful state for you to come and visit. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, all the kids are wondering what you do. My job is to promote and support agriculture. It's the production of food and feed for people, for animals, but also to protect the environment and to make sure that we are adhering to all of the laws that are applicable to agriculture and the production of food to make sure that we have a safe and happy environment and food source for the people. Also, did you know that one in four North Dakota workers are either employed as a farmer or rancher or work for a farming and ranching operation. Really? Yes. Absolutely, that's so interesting. And did you know that most of the United States canola comes from right here in North Dakota? Well, how many acres do you harvest? Well, actually here in North Dakota, we produce well over 90% of all the nation's canola right here, and we produce about a million and a half acres. Wow. That's a lot of acres of canola. And that's a lot of things canola can do. Mm. Absolutely. All the food it can make and all the mm. sautéing I can do. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Absolutely. pretty hungry, so let's get back to the kitchen. Thanks all right. so much for coming out here. Thank Pre you. Good to see you. Thanks. Cammy, where are the cooking crew? Here they are, our experts on edibles. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hi, hi. Hey, how you doing? Have you washed your hands? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna be making egg rolls, so let's get booking and do some cooking. Woohoo! Uncle Chef, which of these did you make with canola? Well, I used canola for the cabbage and the carrots, the egg and the pork. Uncle Chef, I know an interesting fact. Egg rolls date back to ancient China. Wow. Hey, I want to show you a culinary term we call julienne. It's a cut. And julienne is like a matchstick, the size of a matchstick. And that's what I used when I prepared the carrots in the slaw. Okay, so we're going to throw all of these ingredients together. And this is the wrapper, the dough wrapper. The reason why they call it egg roll is because the dough is usually made with egg. Correct. Okay, then we're going to throw some onions in there. And these are bamboo shoots. Yeah. And then we're going to do a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of salt. What's the most important thing you keep in your kitchen? Well, besides canola oil, I keep salt. Salt's very important and a very sharp knife. It's safer. We're going to mix all of this up. It looks so tasty. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make an egg roll. I'm going to show you how to make an egg roll and then you are going to make an egg roll. So the point is, is to me one of the points and then I put a little bit of stuffing in the middle and then I have this egg white and so I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to put it on the corners cool. and then I'm going to roll it up like this and then I'm going to turn in the sides like that and I'm going to keep on rolling and that is going to go into a frying pan with canola oil. So how are you preparing this today? Well, this is a pan fry and we're going to pour about a quarter of a, a cup of canola oil in the very pretty hot high heat uh -huh. and um, we're just going to kind of you hear that sizzle yes i do that's nice i love it that's good that we're lowering the temperature right now of the oil by putting something cold in there oh makes my mouth water Isn't it good? This is stuff you guys made. We need to make some treats for our four-legged friends. Okay, this is dog food, and it's really, really good dog food. So what we're going to do is I need a tablespoon of canola oil put in here, okay? And then we're going to put a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper. Go ahead and do that, Ty. Then some Italian parsley, some cheddar cheese, 
you guys, after you learn how to make this, you'll have to buy dogs so that you can, you know, have the dog food for them. Now with your gloved hand, you want to just start mushing it around a little bit and we'll pass it around, okay? So all of the ingredients now are mixed together. And can you all make a little ball? And all I'm going to do is just keep rolling them around because that cheese is going to melt and it's going to want to go somewhere. And I just want to keep this all nice and rolling around. Okay, we finished cooking these doggone good treats. We need to find a dog to feed. Hey kids, do we have fun today? But of course, this is Uncle Chef signing out from the canola fields of North Dakota. <laughs>